All right, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all honor, praises to the Lord, to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, a great millstone, and peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the elect. All right, it's the brother Shia, man, coming with a quick lesson about um, uh, Esau back at it again, man, with his tricks, trying to uh, push this RFID microchip on the masses. Now, they're cowards, you know, perpetual, they're coward, perpetually they're cowards, man, you know, inwardly. The Lord created them to, to not be straightforward, to be a snake, a serpent, a great serpent, all right? But uh, he's, the Lord is steadily increasing their boldness, okay? Increasing their boldness to uh, uh, really come down hard on you black Latinos and Native Americans to, uh, to fulfill their will or whatnot. But um, I, I saw this uh, a while ago when I was at um, slavery. And I seen it at the ticker. It said uh, NBA to use connected ball, and I I looked it up, and uh, it's not much about it. Uh, well, they 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 tried the uh, they introduced the technology like maybe uh, two three years ago or whatnot um, through the Wilson uh, Wilson brand basketballs, but um, as you can see, this article is dated June twenty eighth, two thousand nineteen. So they're gonna try to uh, you know implement it um, using summer league. Uh, and then, you know, hey, uh, ain't no telling, man, you know, um, pretty soon it could be in all basketballs worldwide. Uh, let's see. And, and uh, this is how they guys it. Um, NBA to experiment with coaches challenges. OK, so now they're saying they're, they're trying to uh, um, basically uh, adhere to the coaches uh, and the challenges and the complaints that they have. But you know, it's all it's all to to, to bring out their uh, wicked plan of putting this RFID trip in everything and everyone. But here it is, right? Um, you got to read down in the article. This is NBA dot com. But uh, uh, the league said it wants to give the replay center the authority to review whether a shot was a two pointer or three pointer without on-court crews asking for it, as well as the ability to review potential shot clock violations. A courtside administrator will be added to the crew at the scorer's table to communicate with the replay center and then be the liaison to announce any immediate scoring changes. For summer league only, there will be a transition take foul, one free throw and retention of the ball when a defender commits a take foul against any offensive Player during a trans during a transition scoring opportunity, but does not meet the criteria for a clear path foul. And in Las Vegas, a new high tech element will make its debut. What the NBA calls a connected basketball will sometimes be used in will sometimes be in use for those games. The NBA said it will be working with Spalding and other vendors to develop a basketball with a tracking chip inside, and prototypes will be tried out during the Vegas League. Some companies have been in the smart ball game for a few years, offering users the chance to use after track their accuracy and other data. Okay, this is nothing but the RFID microchip. They're going to put a microchip in the ball and do, do once they have the microchip in it, they can pretty much control that ball, man. So, and once it's, uh, like, implemented uh, court, I mean, uh, uh, NBA league-wide, man, you're going to be seeing uh, all type of crazy shit, man. You know, uh, balls... Uh, uh, players making shots that they shouldn't make, all type of shit, man. But you know, just gonna bring out the chip scripture. And I'm gonna wrap it up, man. Cause Esau, um, boy. Actually, let me start. I'm gonna get uh, Micah two and one first. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. And when the morning is like they practice it and because it is in the power of their hand. So this uh, uh, RFID microchip technology has been around for years, but they're slowly putting it in different things to get people used to it, um, to subconsciously get people uh, uh, to be more comfortable with taking it. It's already in your uh, handheld devices. It's already in your uh, watches. It's already in your goddamn. It's, 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 it's in everywhere. Okay, and the next step is it for be for it to be inside you. Okay, and they're gonna they're gonna implement that soon, man. But and here's the scripture on this on that Revelation eleven and I mean like it. Uh, let me go back. 
uh, Revelation 13. And I'm going to go to 15, 14. Uh, and he, uh, 15, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And cause any cause of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And that's the RFID microchip, man. All right. And, you know, just real fast uh, to invoke fear uh, into you all that don't believe that it's the RFID microchip. There is uh, a penalty for taking this. And the third angel followed them saying, with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night, whoever who who worship the beast and his image. And whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. All right, here's the f patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and the faith of Yahweh Shah. All right, so hey, we have the faith of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and we keep the commandment. This commandment not to take this RFID microchip, man. Okay, that's basically uh, kneeling yourself to the to to the image of Baal, the beast, uh, Satan, whatever you want to call it. Now. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up with this because there's going to be an hour of temptation that's coming over uh, the whole earth, man. All right. Um, and, and it talks about the patience. I just read in uh, um, Revelation uh, 14 and uh, 9 through 10 and 11. It says the patience. All right. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but they do lie. Behold, I will make them to come worship, come and worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon the world, all of the world, to try them that dwell upon the earth. So there's coming a time where everybody is going to be presented with uh, the opportunity. Well, not the opportunity, the in, in opportunity. <laughs> To uh, take this chip, but don't take this chip if you're a Black Latino Native American because it's it's said not to take this chip. We have one power, which is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and to take this chip, you're basically giving reverence and you're bowing down to Esau, the white man, and Satan. All right, um, I want to give all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the elect.